I'm Jackie Bremner and I'm Project Director for the Baird Nanka Project. Well, this was the first time we'd done a virtual launch and obviously the virtual launch was on the back of the restrictions associated with COVID, but um, it's been extremely positive. Uh, and I think there are lessons to be learned going forward about how we do these sort of things in the future, um, because the um, reaction we got both from staff, uh, patients uh, and from the media has been excellent. We've had some great feedback, uh, large level of engagement, and the whole objective of the launch was to increase the public consciousness about the project. So um, it's been extremely successful from our perspective. If you take the Baird Family Hospital in the first instance, um, uh, they will, it will replace all of the accommodation that's currently located within the, within the maternity hospital, which will in due course be demolished. Um, the facilities within the new Baird Family Hospital for maternity services will be uh, wonderful relative to where they are at the moment. I mean, the building is now 70, 80 years old. Um, one particular example will be that there will be 100% single room accommodation, inpatient accommodation for patients with en suites, much larger single rooms than we're used to to allow families to be together as much as they need to be or want to be. Uh, the neonatal unit in particular will have a uh, substantially larger accommodation, beautifully laid out, allowing families to be together throughout the neonatal stay, giving appropriate accommodation for uh, clinical care in the, within that uh, high risk area. In addition to maternity services and all of the other services in the maternity hospital, there will be all in breast and gynaecology services relocating from the Royal Infirmary, which will include um, outpatients, day patients, theatre accommodation uh, and ward accommodation. So it will be quite different from the facilities we have at the moment. Uh, this is now the second phase of that project, bringing together outpatient, day patient and radiotherapy accommodation for both day and outpatients, uh, for oncology and haematology patients, and will be magnificent accommodation relative to the accommodation that they currently provide some of their services from. They'll both be completed in 2023. Um, the Anchor Centre is a smaller of the two facilities and it will come on stream and be open to patients in May. We'll get the keys about eight weeks before that um, and that will allow us time to clean, um, orientate, equip and get it ready for bringing to operation. In terms of the Baird Family Hospital, we'll get, uh, we will open it for patients in December of 2023 and we'll get the keys from the builder about 12 weeks before we open. Very definitely, that's a continuous process. Um, we have engaged with patient staff, patient groups, uh, and many other stakeholders, including our charity partners over the life of the project. That's a continuous process, which will continue right up until we open and, and indeed after we open to make sure that we benefit from their feedback and their involvement in helping us to develop. Now that the building has been designed, help us with the specification and procurement of equipment, uh, operational policies and all the things that they can help us with as we move on to the next phase of the project. We'll also be working quite hard with our um, charity partners, the um, Friends of Anchor and the Archie Foundation and the University Development Trust to uh, make progress with our fundraising campaigns to deliver the difference um, and just give both of these facilities uh, the, the best, best possible facilities and environment of care that we can produce for the people of Grampian and the North.